Hey guys, Expensive Taster with Discourse Syndicate. You're watching the tutorial series where we deep dive into everything Hex. Today we'll be covering one of a two-part video discussing what MetaMask is, how to set it up, and all of the features in it. Today we'll be discussing MetaMask so that you can better understand exactly what it is and how we use it. I want you to think of your MetaMask wallet as your bridge to the decentralized web. So the same way you would go to a grocery store and want to make a purchase, you don't walk up to the cashier and just recite all of your banking information or credit card information. It's already stored on your credit card, so all you do is swipe it to authorize that purchase. Well, it's the same thing with MetaMask. You're basically using MetaMask as your ID and wallet to interact with the blockchain. And the main purpose of MetaMask is basically for crypto storage, token swaps, and access to these decentralized applications or dApps. And we're gonna start with setting it up and walking you through all the steps so you can further understand um, everything that you use it for. All right guys, we're gonna get started with MetaMask. We are going to go up here to Chrome and we are going to install the MetaMask browser extension. There are several browser extensions that you can use. I just prefer Chrome. Also, uh, MetaMask itself is a secure website, but that's only if you're installing the true version of MetaMask. There are a lot of scams out there designed to look like MetaMask and they're not actually MetaMask. So the only way to be sure is to go to MetaMask.io so we know that we are definitely getting the authentic version of MetaMask. Click these prompts to add the extension to our Chrome browser. All right, from here we're gonna click on Get Started. Now it's gonna ask you, do you want to import an existing wallet or do you wanna create one from scratch? So for today, we're gonna to be creating a new one. So I'm gonna click on this icon over here. And then it's gonna ask, you know, in an effort to improve MetaMask, if you wanna provide data back to them, I just say no thanks. And then the first step is to create a wallet password. Please make sure that you're making it a difficult password because this is how you get into your wallet. So you don't want anyone able to guess that. I hit I agree to the terms and create. Now it's gonna explain next what a secret recovery phrase is. I'm gonna walk you through that so we can go ahead and skip this video. Um, now we're gonna click to reveal this. This is 12 words that are basically the keys to your wallet. So anyone that has this series of words can access your wallet. You wanna make sure that you write them down. Uh, you put them in a really secure, safe place. Definitely don't take a picture of it or screenshot it or send it to yourself on an email or something like that because then you're just leaving yourself vulnerable to you know someone potentially hacking you and taking all of your money. So from here, we're gonna click on it. We're gonna see what these words are and I'm gonna write them down. Also make sure you write legibly because there's been times where I wasn't really sure what I had written down and that's also gonna be important. Okay, I have them written down so I'm gonna go to the next step and it's just gonna ask me to put those back in the order that they were shown to me. So, over here. Confirm, and congratulations, we now have our MetaMask wallet set up. So we are done with this step. It's gonna give me the newest updates, what's going on with MetaMask. I'm gonna go ahead and close out of this, and now you see we are on the main screen of our wallet. Now before we go any further and go over kind of the features of what the app does, I'm actually going to uninstall this and show you how easy it is to get back into your wallet just by using your seed phrase. So if you need to access um, your wallet and you don't have the original device that you created it on, you can log back in with just simply that seed phrase. But keep in mind, anybody that has that seed phrase can log into your wallet from anywhere. So once again, can't stress it enough, keep your seed phrase safe, put it somewhere safe and do not give it to anyone. Okay, from here, just gonna go into these extensions. We're gonna remove the MetaMask that we just installed and basically just walk through those steps again. Once again, anytime you're installing it for the first time, make sure it's metamask.io. That's the only trusted way to get the for sure uh, version of it. Okay, we are gonna go back in with those same steps. We're gonna click get started, but this time we're going to import the wallet with the seed phrase. We're not gonna create a new one. So click this, once again, no thanks. And I'm gonna show you the phrase so you can see that I'm typing in the same one it just gave us. OK, 
Okay, and then it's gonna ask you for a new password. A lot of times if you're entering your seed phrase, it's probably because you forgot your password. So it's just gonna ask you to recreate a password. Okay, import. And here we go, we're right back into our MetaMask wallet. So click all done, close out of this. And now you'll see we're back in it and ready to go through some of the settings in here. You can access your account anytime by clicking the stack dots in the upper right and going down to account details. You can click the pencil icon next to the account name to change that at any time. And below that, you'll see a QR code and a text version of your public wallet address. You can freely share this with people or platforms like exchanges to collect any inbound crypto to this wallet. Think of it as like your mailing address that you share with people to take on inbound mail. It's the same thing, you'll send any of your tokens to this wallet by using this specific public wallet address. All right, well that wraps up part one of our two-part MetaMask tutorial. Please tune in for the second half. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so that you're notified of all future updates.